A process map is a visual representation of the sequence of steps in a process. It makes the process visible and understandable. Let's walk through how to build a process map. In this example, we'll be creating a process map for a process optimization project. Decrease car fueling time. When you begin the process map tool, you'll see that your project title has been auto-populated in the title bar. There's also a preset number of three horizontal swim lanes. The number of swim lanes and their titles are editable. You can zoom in and out by clicking the magnifying glasses. Use the scroll bars to scroll up and down and left and right. On the left side of the tool, there's a menu that contains a few elements, flow shapes, swim lane shapes, and connectors. Commonly used flow shapes are the ovals, or terminators, that identify the beginning and ending steps of a process. The actions, or steps of the process, are displayed in rectangular boxes and connected with arrows. Steps that require a decision are placed in a diamond. The swim lanes represent the roles working in the process. To add a swim lane, drag the swim lane shape from the symbol palette onto an existing swim lane. To delete a swim lane on your map, select the swim lane and hit delete. For our project, let's first identify the swim lanes, or roles involved, as a driver and a station attendant. Double-click the title to edit the text. Next, identify the first and last steps. Drag an oval, from the menu, to the appropriate swim lane, and enter a short description of the step in two to four words, beginning with an action word or verb. If you want to edit your text, double-click on the text, until you see the cursor change to the I-beam shape. Once you enter your first step, ask, what happens next? Place the action in a rectangle box. To delete a shape, click on the shape or connector you wish to delete until a border appears. Then press delete. Any decisions will go into a diamond and have a yes-no question in the text. As you map the process the first time, follow the preferred path when mapping a decision to help the mapping flow easier. Then, continue asking what happens next, adding rectangles and diamonds until the process steps reach the last step. Connect all the shapes using connectors or arrows. Straight arrows are for steps within the same line, and the elbow arrows move up, down, or across swim lanes. Once finished, return to the decision diamond and map the remaining steps of the unfavorable loop. You can add color to highlight critical steps and notes for context, such as highlighting problems in the process. If you have multiple edits to your map, the tool can restore any previous versions you've made. Click on the updated text at the top of the page, then select the version of the map you want to restore.